Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to do bunless hamburgers for dinner and I'm just going to show you how I make it so fast and so easy. So I'm opening up my fridge, getting out spinach. This is pre-washed spinach, therefore I don't have to take the time to wash it. So that's going to be our side dish and I'm gonna grab the hamburger. I turned on this cast iron skillet already. Ba -dum -bum. And here we go, see, hamburger. All right, yeah, this will be fun. So, I actually make smaller hamburgers I don't quite make a quarter pound or a half pound. I make like a three or four ounces. And so this is a pound of hamburger. I'm just gonna cut it in half. And then I start to form the hamburger. Now, I flatten it out as much as I can. Do, 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 do. See, flatten, flatten, flatten as much as I can. I want it as flat as it can be. Easy peasy. See? So, the next thing I'm gonna do, I actually like mushrooms and onions with my hamburgers. And I will show you that I actually do make it up. So, see, the hamburgers are all cooking away. Next thing I'm gonna worry about is my spinach. I have this uh, Black & Decker. Um, this is a steamer, and it already has water in it, but I'm gonna change out the water in case that's full. And add some new water. I know, super exciting. <laughs> you probably know how to do this, but I just want to show you that it's it's fast and easy. This will not be a five minute meal. It may take upwards of 10 minutes, so sit tight. <laughs> it may not, I don't know. I haven't made it in a while. So check it out. Plug it in. Open up the top. And toss it in. Easy peasy, right? Very simple. The key to fast ketogenic meals is keeping it simple. One or two ingredients for each thing. Now, since I don't want to bore you to death, and I'm sure I will. I'm gonna get out some mushrooms and onions. Those are both kind of low carb, but one thing that's really fun is eating them on top of hamburgers. So, let me grab a cutting board. And I have some mushrooms. And let me grab some onions. I just want to do one onion. I don't want a ton of them. But what I end up doing is, so I peel this onion. I cook my onions with my hamburger because, because that's what I do. I don't want to wash two pans. It seasons the hamburger. And this is how I chop them. Uh, Okay, well, I'm 
Yeah, screw up on these videos. That's okay. And then the phone calls us. Yeah, that's wonderful. This is real life, people. Real life. But I'm not going to get the phone. And I'm not going to edit it out because I don't know how. Maybe as I get better at this, I will start editing more, but um, that's not going to be today. Let me learn how to do a few more things before I learn to edit videos, right? All right, so check it out. Sizzling away. I think it's time to flip the burgers. Oh, look, yes. Time to flip the burgers. And that's a good color for that side. We're at six minutes now. I would say probably two more minutes for the burgers. I'm cooking it on medium heat. And um, there's a lot of fat in the hamburger, so there's I didn't use any oil, but I think I'm gonna dash some olive oil in. Um, just for good measure. Um, it's 85.15. That's what they had on sale at the grocery store. 85% lean, 15% fat. I really wanted an 80-20, but that's they didn't have that at the store. So I did put some oil in just so that the mushrooms would absorb it. And we'll see. So check it out. Let me see if I can get this angle this. And sometimes I can and sometimes I can't. So you can see while I cook. Oh, there we go. So now I'm using my wonderful push around the vegetable skill. So, so important. So, so important. And you can tell I'm a little bit sarcastic sometimes. But I thought it'd be fun to do this video. going to do another thing. I'm going to take out this pepper and grind some pepper on top of it, seasoning the meat. And if you don't like pepper, you don't have to use it. Another thing I like is this Herbamere salt seasoning, or you could use just some sea salt, but I don't have any candy. I think Herbamere has sea salt in it. Um, just a dash of that. And then, look, see, the mushrooms are cooked now. They're not as firm anymore. They're kind of wilted. The onions are a little bit translucent. So that's good. And the hamburgers are reducing in size, which means they're cooking down. You can tell some of the fat has rendered itself into the pan. So, yippee skippy. And if we want to, we can turn our attention back to the wonderful spinach. It's at 10 more minutes. Spinach is slower. I don't care. It's kind of hands off, so yay. Back to the meat. There we go. So for me, I like to see if the middle's cooked. So I just push through one of them and I look inside and see if it's pink at all. It is a little bit. So I'll cook it for another 30 seconds or so. In the meantime, 
I will get out a plate so I can place it up and show you how pretty it is. thing you can do is um, cheese. You can put cheese on your hamburgers. Mm, I'm going to go and do that. So I have a block of cheese. I'm going to slice one piece. This is a great idea if you haven't met your fat macros for the day. Um, because it adds fat. It adds flavor too. So see, easy peasy. One, and then I put the mushrooms on top of my burger. All right, so thank you so much for watching. As you can see, the majority of the meal got done in 11 minutes and 18 seconds. Give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe below. And let me know what your favorite quick and easy keto meal is. Have a great day.